accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. So again, science keeps learning, keeps getting better. So there's no such thing as being too old to get your mammogram or to support your mom or grandma getting the mammogram. All right, let's take a look. Science is also getting better at forecasting what these are going to do. You know what this is? This is a wind signature of Hurricane Tammy. For the next three days, should go along and do what we talked about last week it was going to do. Looking like it's going to recurve, but notice I'm saying looking like. There's some indications it might begin to recurve back to the west, but don't stress out on Tammy unless you have plans to go to Bermuda. This might cause a problem for Bermuda. Yes, it's going to head to the north and northeast. It might get pulled back to the west, but two things are going to happen if it goes west. If it goes west, and I know that if you just look at the cone and see the U.S., you think, whoa, but if it does continue to go west, number one, it's going to weaken because of too much shear, and then it's also going to go into drier air, which means it's just going to get, well, dehydrated. And uh, like most of us, uh, hurricanes need the moisture. Also, I'll let you know the 21st tropical depression of the year has developed. Amazing during an El Nino year, but it does look like it's going to get into Nicaragua, uh, north of Costa Rica, before it gets any stronger. However, it is probably going to cause some flash flooding over the uh, mountains, at least of Nicaragua and Honduras. For us, there's the hurricane off to the east southeast of us by 1200 miles. This is going to be an active front out over the plains, but in between high pressure all week long, it's going to build toward us. In fact, it's one of the reasons why if you haven't been out and about the northeast breeze, you might call it a wind. It's increasing might bring in a couple sprinkles, but not even enough for me to put a raindrop out there. So we'll call it sunny to partly cloudy. The big change really, especially for those of you away from the coast, is that your morning lows will be warmer. 63 at dawn, 80 for an afternoon high. Winds are going to be gusty, uh, so small craft flags were right on that threshold. So we're going to see winds and seas and rip current risk actually increasing through the week. And it might actually cause the water temperature to increase. 74 might come up to 75 or 76 degrees. So there we go on Wednesday and on Thursday and on Friday. We'll also add the big moon over the eastern sky. And for Florida, Georgia, Saturday, as long as you can handle the warmth, looks pretty darn nice. Find that 